Whew. What's up guys? My name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. We just had our 2,000 subscriber giveaway. Thank you all so much. I'm still super excited about it. We're waiting for the hat to come in and then that prize is going over to the winner. Congratulations again. If you haven't already, click that red subscribe button because I think we're going to do some more giveaways coming soon. Today, we are working on Miss Avi here. If you've been around for a little bit or since the beginning, you'll know this car. 1997 Chevy Corvette, first year of the LS1 motor and the first year of this body style for Corvettes, the C5 generation. Today, we have a problem with a broken part, which was a leak right here <laughs> from uh, a coolant restrictor. I'll be honest, I don't even know what it does or what it's for, but it's a part, and I'm going to show you guys how to fix it. Roll that intro. So on the box it says that it's a heater valve um, part number 74795 for Murray Murray and this is all it is like uh, yeah that's it there's a there's like a little rubber gasket in here o-ring that has a smaller hole essentially just restricting the flow of coolant to the heater core and so this guy goes on the passenger side of the vehicle straight down and what we found was our leak coming from this so the old one i don't actually I, I think i do have it but what had happened is this front piece here is just, it just got so old and brittle that it just started cracking and eventually just broke off completely which caused it to leak. So now we've got our new one here and all we're gonna do is stick it into our hose, do that one handed, and then stick this other end into there. Now, just like that, there we go. That's the new part installed, super easy. And then you just get these clamps right here and just put them back on there which i've got some pliers that'll help do that job maybe if i do it one handed this might be one of the simplest change outs for a part in a car so basically you just take that piece off take your hose clamp you would take it off slide it backwards pull the rubber hose off of the restrictor and then do the same for the back side this does help if you use channel locks instead but my channel locks are actually at the other house so trying to reach this it's just a little bit awkward but we're gonna get it so after, after we get this put back on, uh, give me just a second, I need both hands. All right, there we go. Both hands, it works a whole lot better. So our leak should stop. This guy should be good to go. Um, yeah, I still, it's so, it's just so bizarre. Like I thought it was my tank and leaking from the bottom where my coolant sensor's at because it tells me it's low all the time. Um, it's not, it wasn't low, and then it it would be low. So my sensor might be working, but you can see that it is not level-wise where it's supposed to be. It should be up here, and it's way down there. We ended up, uh, recently, we ended up switching this tank out because it, our old one did have a crack in it so um we did that got a new a little bit of new everything so now i've got my funnel here i'm gonna use that funnel to help pour in coolant which 
when you guys are buying coolant make sure that you get the right the right stuff um, as you can see right here it says full strength must add water so what you got to do for that is have another another jug um, a clean one that you can mix it 50 50 50 um, to 50 of water and coolant and what that does is then um, you can put that in your radiator and you will be good to go so this one I know that it says full strength but this is just my empty jug that I used half of that in here with half of water and then we'll do it again I'll fill the other one with half water and use it use what we need so let's go ahead and fill this girl up because I know I am ready for her to be back on the road and driving. Now this is easier with two hands because you take your jug and you actually flip it the other way to pour and it works so much better. So I'm gonna do that. We're gonna check it now. Not totally where it should be, but we need to go start the car and then finish filling it. So I'm gonna go start it and then we'll finish filling this up. It should be it should actually be full but we're gonna go ahead and put this lid on there now let her run for a little bit while it gets all that fluid moving yeah it's looking pretty healthy I'm liking that check our weak spot there it feels good looks like it's actually leaking again Burn my hand on the exhaust. That's always great. I'm gonna go grab a rag, wipe that, make sure it isn't leaking right there that it's from before. And we'll keep our eye on that fluid level and see how this goes. All right, so now in the car, still says that our coolant's low. It might take it a minute, maybe wanna restart it. Let's just do that real quick. Let's see what it says. It's hot in here. Woo. Go ahead and mute the radio. Doors open. No, it looks like coolant's good now. It's running a good temp. Hundred and ninety 
2,000 miles on this old girl. Yeah, see, there's the low coolant. So my sensor is definitely bad, but temperature-wise, running good. Don't mind the oil one because, well, it doesn't work. It has never worked. Someday it will. <laughs> Someday oil pressure that doesn't read out. Oil temperature 129, coolant temp 194, transmission 81. So, yeah, there we go. I mean, sounds pretty healthy. Ready to drive again. Who's who can't drive in the, in the yard? I don't think the camera will stay, but we can try. We can try. Oh, GoPro is holding on. Got some poo water. <laughs> no, it didn't hold. Camera did not hold up. Puppies. Hi puppies. I don't know if you guys can see the girls. fix that um yeah like i said i didn't know that was a thing i honestly thought about just bypassing it and getting rid of that but i don't i really don't know enough about it to know if like that's a wise decision maybe you do let me know in the comments down below if this video helped you out smash that thumbs up don't forget to click the red subscribe button and we will catch you in another vlog have a great night god bless y'all don't ever give up god is here with you yeah you are a child nothing but love is true just gotta fix your view keep your eyes on the prize that's life everlasting only through jesus christ